Welcome to another edition of Academy League Soccer. Today we're going to watch the Arsenal Gunners host the Liverpool Reds. Two quality teams. I like both of these squads. Both of these squads have just an equal opportunity of winning the league this year. It's kind of hard not to expect Liverpool to take things in this league, but there are a couple of quality teams that are probably going to give them a run for their money. So let's get things started here. As you can see, Liverpool leads with the attack. They've got a 60-rated attack. Arsenal with a 58. Unfortunately for the Gunners, we've talked about this in previous broadcasts, the Gunners is Best player up top, Luke Eggleton Parr, is looking for a transfer. So it'll be interesting to see how long this transfer takes to get completed. But if he's unhappy, I don't expect him to stick around at the Emirates for very long. Arsenal had a draw in their first match against Chelsea. It was a complete yawner. Anybody who watched that game probably fell asleep late in the second half. Liverpool came out and got shocked early on by Villa. Villa, led by manager Jake, got the win over Liverpool, which was a shocking win for that team. Khan's a good player for the Reds. He scored a couple of times in the preseason. You got Vanderlaar, Bamber, Lawson. There's so many great players on that team. And here we are at Emirates. Players are taking the field. On the other side, the Gunners, the host, they've got Paul Jones. He's a big mouth top scorer looking to put some goals in the back of the net. You got the Netherlands man with the man bun in Xander Tout. Jones's little brother, Daniel, is supposedly looking to join Arsenal. No news as of yet as to where the younger Jones will sign or if he's going to be sent down to a lower level academy team. There's Vanderlaar, again, top scorer out of England. Big time player, high potential player for this Liverpool team. Everyone's expecting big things. Let's look at your gunners. You got Alfie Lee in keeper. You got Jensen Horvath and Gillespie in their three man backfield. Steinhauer, Keith, Jaja, Ross, and Jones in their five man midfield. You got Xander Tau up there, and your sole striker is Luke Eggleton Parr. Brian Gillespie, the American, holding the captain's armband. Liverpool, again, expected to be one of the top contenders in the league. Let's take a look at their lineup. You just saw Danny Berry and Josh Wood. In the back, you've got Robbie Pollock, Lacassie, Bamber, Finelli, and Lawson. Briscoe, Kahn, and Horvath in the middle. you got a three-man front of Wood, Vanderlaar, and Berry. Deadly, deadly front line for this team. Wood is, as you guys know, a central attacking midfielder by trade. But manager Chris has had him working really hard at that right wing position where they desperately needed someone. And instead of going out and getting someone, Wood's been working hard. And he's probably going to take over that right wing spot long term. Eggleton Parr here, ready to get possession, kicking it off to the Gunners and live from the Emirates. We are ready to rock and roll. Man bun in the middle with the ball. Jaw Jaws got the ball, currently dumps it back to Ross. Nice sliding tackle there. Beautiful play by Briscoe. It'll be interesting to see who controls the ball most in this game. Both of these teams are possessive types of teams. Tom Lawson dumping it down to Barry, who's got some space in the bottom, looking for a cross, dumps it in. Nice play there by Alfie Lee to punch it away. And back come the Gunners. Paul Jones with one of his first touches, looking to make a run here. He's got a lot of space. Not sure what Parr was doing there. Parr had a run on the defender, but pulled back up. And back come the Reds. Long ball looking to go out of bounds here. Barry can't keep it in. Jensen was on the cover. Ball inbounded. Keith with the ball. Jensen switches it over to his pal Gillespie. Gillespie dumps it up to Jones. Already at midfield are the Gunners. Not a good pass there by the man, Bun. Not sure what he was trying to do. 
trying to be a little bit cheeky and paid for it in a turnover. Steinhauer dumps it back to Man Bun. Stein making a run down low. But Tout decides to switch it. Nice play there by Jones to Eggleton Parr, who quickly takes a shot out of the ball out of the air. But nice save by Robbie Pollock. That's how quick this Gunners team can attack. They push a lot of men forward in this game. From what I heard is the manager isn't going to mess with his tactics in this game. He wanted to see if the team would respond. But if they don't respond in this Liverpool game, you can expect a host of tactical changes by manager Joe D. They're really hoping to get Jones more involved in the game and have him stay forward. But we'll see how this game transpires before any teams are going to have to make sure they change tactical, tactically against this Gunners team. They've looked impressive here early. We've got a corner here. Lawson looking to drop the ball short. Danny Berry looking to approach with the box. Put, dumps it in. He's got a man open. No call. I think the fans were expecting a call there. Looking for the penalty. Another ball dumped in. Loose ball, but Alfie Lee picks it up. Loses it again. And just like that, a huge error by Alfie Lee in goal and Vanderlaar. Scars. Not sure what was going on from the angle that I was looking at. Did Lee just lose control of the ball? Yes, it looks like his own man, Jacob Ross, may have kicked it out of his hands. And Vanderlaar was there waiting. Here it is. Nothing Lee could do about that. You might want to blame Ross on that one. Not sure what Ross was doing. I think he was trying to help Lee cover the ball there but unfortunately ended up kicking it out of the keeper's hands onto Vanderlaar's foot, and Vanderlaar buries the shot. Liverpool, one. Gunners, nil. Gunners a little shell-shocked here. They were doing a pretty good job pressing, and then one little mistake like that And the Reds make them pay. And you can tell momentum is completely in Liverpool's favor now. Here comes a cross into the box, headed in. Just, just didn't get enough on it. Ben Kahn was looking to put one in. He's a heading specialist, but kind of came off the side of his head there, over Vandalar's head, and out of play. You can see that Alfie Lee is still frustrated at that ball that went in the back of the net. He had done a good job to cut off the cross. But Ross came over to help him and somehow accidentally cleared the ball out of Lee's hands. And Liverpool has the lead. Here comes Xander Tout to jaw jaw, back to Tout. Into the box come the gunner. Steinhauer looking for a cross, dumps it into jaw jaw. Keith crosses it over to Man Bun. Man Bun couldn't get a foot on it. And back come the Reds the other way. I think the Gunners have to be happy with the way they're pressing the Reds' defense right now. They just can't get any shots off. Long ball is going to be turned over here by Barry. Couldn't get to it. And back comes Steinhauer. Nice, nice space. Steinhauer puts it in the middle of Xander. Tout takes a shot. Big save. Robbie Pollock was up to the test on that ball. Again, that's how quick this Gunners team can strike. Steinhauer to Tout in the middle and bang, ball, right on goal. This Gunners offense is going to keep keepers paying attention throughout the game from any distance. These Gunners forwards like to take shots. You can tell Liverpool's trying to get Danny Barry open on the wing, but the Gunners have really done a good job switching over and covering him. And here comes Tout. Lots of space at the bottom of your screen. Man, Bun just a bouncing. 
Eggleton Parr again late getting into the box, and Xander Tout has nothing that he can do with that ball. Interviews with Tout with local media show that he's going to still give 100% to this Gunners team, whether he gets traded or not. Tout in the box, looking for par. Decides to kick it back out to Steinhauer. The Gunners offense looking very dangerous here, controlling the ball on the red side of the pitch. 38th minute. Ben Kahn with the ball. Horvath, the Hungarian. Back to Kahn. Kahn's got Vandalar breaking. Vandalar's looking for a man. Nobody's cutting into the box. Looks like he got Wood at the top of the box. Here it comes into Wood. But a terrible cross there by Vanderlaar. Flies way over the head of Wood. And out of bounds. Gunner's getting sloppy with the ball here. Briscoe. Kahn controlling the ball here in the middle. Deep ball down to Wood. Wood nice. Tries to control it. But it looks like Gillespie is up to the effort defensively and clears the ball out of bounds. I know that the Gunners have made a mistake in this game, but I do have to say that I've been impressed with their control of the ball and their attacking presence. And just like that, jaw jaw attacking. Tries to put it into man bun. Any minute, we'll get the blowing of the whistle and we'll head into halftime with this one nothing lead for Liverpool. Off the foot of Liam Vandalar. Vandalar scoring his first goal for the Liverpool Academy. And I know that his family who's in the stands here watching this game are very excited to see their son right there, Liam Vanderlaar, put one away and give the Reds this lead heading into the half. Again, pretty evenly played game. I expected Liverpool to control the ball a little bit more than they have, although they do lead in the possession. They have not controlled as much as I thought. Gunners looking good stamina-wise. Everybody looks to be rip roaring ready to go for the second half. Let's get things underway here in the second half. Again, two shots apiece by the clubs. But unfortunately for the Gunners, that mistake proved very costly in the backfield. Danny Berry up top, taking all sorts of space up there, but nobody's cutting in the box, and this is going to be an easy clearance here by Gillespie, and back come the Gunners the other way. I was talking to the manager right after halftime for the Gunners. As expected, he's been pleased with the way his team has been with the ball. He just stated that they need more opportunities, and they need to press a little bit more and find space in the box. On the flip side, talking to manager Chris during halftime. He just laughed because he said something about that boneheaded play that led to their goal that they had just done something like that in training. And there's a header just wide. But they were doing some practice on corners. And that happened just yesterday in training where a defender was trying to clear the ball out and accidentally cleared the ball out of the keeper's hands, which led to a goal. And guess who scored that goal in training? Liam Vandalar. So it sounds like Vandalar had some practice with that play, and it sounded quite strategic. Alfie Lee with the ball, clearing it towards midfield. 51st minute here at Emirates Stadium. Pretty even here in the second half to start things off. Briscoe with the ball. Horvath dumps it down to Vandalar, who gives it to Lawson. I like this Lawson kid up top. He gets really high. He's always looking to find space and dump that ball in the middle. There's a header, not much on it. Looked like it might have been Horvath putting that ball in on Lee. But hit it right at him with not much pace. And the Gunners are going to play out of the back. Gillespie, the captain, 
He's done great work for the Gunners here for the first game and a half of the season. That was the first goal that the defense has given up through a game and a half. No real fault of their own here. Jones has got some space again. They're trying to get him playing higher on the pitch. Jones is dangerous. Dangerous with the mouth and dangerous with the ball. And Eggleton Parr wasn't paying attention and not looking at the line. And we're going to get a change here early in the second half as Vanderlaar is going to come out. Jack Button comes in. You'll see a lot of changes early on in these games as these players start working on their stamina and fitness. Vanderlaar has done his job, though. His family gave him a standing ovation. That was great to see. Here comes Jones again with the ball. Definitely going to him more in the second half, trying to find an opening. Eggleton Parr, who's been absolutely quiet. Xander Tout, who's been everywhere for the Gunners. Jones tries to center that ball, cut off by the defense. And Pollock plays it out. Nutmeg's his own man in the process. Liverpool dumping it deep towards Danny Barry. He tries to control it, getting a lot of press by Jensen. Jensen's a great defender for this team. Briscoe with the ball here in the middle of the field. Liverpool trying to press up a little bit. Nice save there. Sorry, I was reading a message from Discord. Missed that shot. Liverpool with the corner. Ball in the middle. There's a shot. Again, Horvath keeps finding Alfie Lee instead of finding the back of the net. But Liverpool is trying to change the momentum in this game. Long ball to Jones. Jones has a lot of room controlling it. Nice play. He's in there. He's broken in. He's got gunners everywhere. Here comes the pass. He decides to shoot it instead. And Jones nails it. Paul Jones can score on anyone. Jones with the breakaway. I'm glad he put this ball away because he had Eggleton Parr and Xander Tout and just about the whole Gunners team. But look at the 2% chance. Pollock wasn't even expecting the shot. That angle was nigh impossible. But Jones, he's got so much gel in that hair. It hasn't moved all game and it's a bit warm here at the Emirates. This game is nigh at one in the 69th minute. The fans are excited. You can hear them singing, chanting Jones's name. Let's see if the momentum goes back to the Gunners with that goal. Wood pressing down to Lacassi. Wood flag up. Wood yelling back to Briscoe, saying he wanted that ball a lot earlier than that. But Briscoe had a heavy touch and was late getting the ball down to Wood. But the Gunners take over in the 72nd minute. Xander Tout heads it to Jaw Jaw. There's another bow. To oh, ho, ho, ho. Paul Jones was coming in for a breakaway. He couldn't get back in time, but it was going to be man versus man on the goal if he would have gotten that ball in. Just a little late of a delivery from Tout. Horvath down to Danny Barry. Got a few minutes left in this game. Can someone take advantage and take the lead and steal the three points here in week two? Jensen working him. Nice play there by Jensen. Jensen's looked fantastic in this game. 
Parr fighting for the ball gets it taken away. Parr has not looked very good in this game. It's got to be hard for him to concentrate with all these rumors about him leaving. Here comes Ross all alone. Parr's trying to cut into the box. Ross drags it back, dumps it back to Jones. Jones is now dropping it back to Keith. Ross is playing very high on the pitch here. Nice movement here by the Gunners. Keith with a fancy move, jumps it into Parr. Parr's got a man, couple of men crossing into the box, but Parr, his rough day continues and has the ball cleared away from his feet. Ross dumps it in, not a good cross. Pollock is there. Jaw Jaw was looking for something, but Ross just couldn't find him. But that's the kind of player this Ross kid is. He's in a CDM position for the most part, but he likes to play up and deliver that ball into the box. Nice play. Here comes Horvath. He's got room. Briscoe dumps it down to Wood. Wood was off again. Briscoe and Wood having some communicative issues here. Again, Wood was expecting that ball much sooner, but Briscoe again didn't see him until it was too late. Flag goes up. Gillespie clears it down towards Ooh, that was an interesting play there. If Parr could have got on the end of that. Brian Gillespie shows he should be trying out for the NFL with that 75-yard attempt. Gunners controlling the pace here. I got to think that the Gunners are content here with taking this point at home against Liverpool. Gillespie bodying off Briscoe. Nice move by the defender who drops it into Eggleton Parr. Nice pass into Tout. Tout's got some room. Decides to give it to Steinhauer. I think Tout had a little bit more space than he thought he had. Any minute, this game is over. Nice clearance there by Pollock. Woods trying to track it down and does. Saving Liverpool some of the pressure. Seconds left in this game. Liverpool trying one last press. Button to Briscoe. Back to Button. Back to Briscoe. And here's your last attempt here. Button in the box. Loses it. Great defense by Horvath. The Hungarian. Who got to play against his brother today. And of course... It's a 1-1 game. There's Jensen. I got to tell you, he was definitely the defending defensive man of the match. Nobody was getting anywhere near him in this pitch. Look at that. Basically the same replication of the first half in possession. Liverpool still controlled it, had the slight edge. Their pass accuracy was quite good for the game. Both teams have to be impressed with their pass accuracy. You can tell both of these guys have been working hard and training. Let's take a look inside the numbers. So Liverpool gets their first point of the year. Arsenal gets their second point of the year. And there you go. Jensen, as you can see, worked well back there, helping protect Alpi Lee, notching the 7.9, which led the team. Congratulations, Peter Jensen. Playing great defense here for the Gunners today. As you can see, Eggleton Parr did not play well. 6.3 on the rating. Your goal was by Paul Jones. And the assist by Jensen, who got that ball up to Jones. And Jones took the breakaway and put it past Pollock. Shots on target, not much to talk about. Passes completed. There's a look at this. Ross was pretty good. Jensen, perfect. Keith was great. Here's your dribbles. Tout, 17 of 17. Steinhauer, 10 of 10. Again, ignore this stupid screen. It's never right when it comes to where the players are on the pitch. Crosses completed. Not much work. Not much success. You got the big goose egg. Ross with the over. Jones with the over too. Keith over. Tout over. Steinhauer over. Tackles Horvath was a beast. Notching two tackles in that backfield. Alpi Lee 
seven saves just might get player of the match here with his work. Let's switch over to the Reds. There's your viewpoint. Danny Berry led the team in rating. The goal was by Vanderlaar. The assist by Jacob Ross. That's right, Jacob Ross with the assist to Vanderlaar. Shots on target. Horvat took a number of shots in this game. Came up empty. Passes. Gotta say, impressed with the passing here for them today. Lacassi, a perfect day with the ball in the backfield. Wood looked good over there on the right. Briscoe was a dribbling machine, so was Khan. Gotta be excited with their output in this game. That Briscoe-Wood combination, they're gonna need to work a little bit more about that in training. Crosses, Wood was perfect. As you can tell, Wood's been working on crosses in training. Danny Berry dropped in a couple of crosses as well. Here's your tackles, Bamber looking good. The big boy in the backfield protecting Pollock. And your saves, Robbie Pollock with five. So lots of saves by the keepers. Not too many of them were of the dangerous variety, but all in all, a pretty well played game. Both managers have to be happy. I think you're gonna hear that the Gunners manager is gonna be frustrated with that turnover of a ball that should have easily been cleared by Alfie Lee and that miscommunication with Jacob Ross. But in the end, they got a point against probably, arguably, the best team in the Premier League, Liverpool. So signing off, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this game. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. This is my new microphone, so I'm pretty stoked to have that. Hopefully no more cutouts because it's USB, what? It's USB connected, so no more Wi-Fi microphones. So yeah, we're moving up in the world, fellas and ladies. So appreciate you watching. I hope everything works for you. And we're gonna let this one play out here. There you go, Ross. Ross losing it, and bang. That was for you, Jacob Ross. Come on, man. Poor Alfie Lee didn't stand a chance against his own man. All right, signing off. Thanks, everybody. Be safe.